Hey everybody, I uh, wanted to show you here a simple live well I built, um, really for under 50 bucks. Um, your most expensive piece on this will be your pump, your live well pump. I used this uh, Tsunami pump, and that of course was, you know, about $32. Really, that was the majority of uh, the money. Um, this was 32 and the tote was 10 at Menards. So... You know, there was 40 bucks there. The rest is just PVC piping, which is really cheap. Um, 10 foot of this PVC three quarter was only like three bucks. Um, and then the fittings are like, you know, 30 cents, 50 cents, whatever each. Um, valves are maybe a couple bucks. And uh, I guess the hose over there was pretty, you know, pricey, I guess, if you want to talk about it. It was like $12 for that 10 foot of, of hose. Um, but what we got going on here is, is, you will need 10 foot of straight line. You'll need two end caps. You will need <clears throat> two elbows, uh, two T's, a valve, an external threaded glue-on adapter, and a threaded glue-on adapter for your pump down here, if your pump. If you choose to use the Tsunami, you'll need it because it has threads. Um, I also grabbed, there's this nice thick rubber washer and this brass nut which I used to sandwich the tote in between that and this flared nut. Um, I will come back and put silicone around this and put silicone around the outside. Um, I'm not going to silicone these holes because they're pretty tight. I got them drilled with a uh, one inch paddle bit and it was really tight putting the pipes in um, and this is going to be above water level anyway so I'm not going to really worry about these two. Uh, a little bit on my filling and draining system. I will take the hose I was showing you earlier, this hose here with this spigot adapter, and I will actually screw that onto the pump feed and throw this hose in the lake, and that will pull water in the pump and up through this line and out these water lines where I have drilled. You see there, I drilled some quarter inch holes down through it for, you know, so it can spray water back in and circulate water and aerate. Um, and then when I want to drain this thing, what I will do is I will take that same hose and adapter and I will screw it on to here and I will open this valve. And that way when it feeds water up to the, to the, the um, dispensers, it won't get there. It'll actually go through this T and come out here first because this is the first hole in the line. And I can drain it outside the boat that way. So pretty simple design. Um, but like I said, really... I, I don't think I have 50. If I have more than 50 in it, it's like 55 bucks or something. Um, not not a lot more. But uh, that'll give you a 27-gallon live well that's portable. Um, just need a battery to run that 12-volt pump. You could use any size container that you want to use. I mean, you could use a smaller container, a bigger container. Um, I've seen guys use, you know, plastic barrels and stuff like that, too. So, anyway, this is how I uh, made mine. And like I said, I was under 50 really, so kind of good idea and easy to keep your fish alive or transport fish if you need to transport them in the back of a truck or something. And I uh, hope this helps somebody. Have a good day.